Assalamualaikum everyone. Simply did the reaction back with other reaction, and this reaction: Why we move to Russia? Why move to Russia? Just asking this yourself, like, why we move to Russia? And I will find answer here with this man. I only subscribe his channel. I really do everything. My name is Sammy. I'm from Algeria, North Africa. I do reaction, video reaction, anything, and music, and travel, and video like this. I do reaction, and they have EZC attack and depression. And this comment asking me, you have depression, and you have the, you have time to react to do this to do it you think who have depression and anxiety attack they do nothing no we are see doctor and the doctor give us medicam and medicam will make us calm and be okay and uh, uh, doctor uh, tell us to be make us uh, make ourselves busy not like do this to make yourself busy with positive things and what you love and they love youtube that's why i chose youtube in the first place from long time and let's start right now three two one it is coming right now let's start let's go Dobry dean everyone good afternoon it is a lovely day a <laughs> little bit of cloud cover you can tell fall is in the air you can tell the leaves are changing a little bit but life is still good if you don't know who we are and your first time watching us we moved here from canada about Whoa, eight canada. months ago roughly about a little longer i guess we've been in russia eight months first we traveled from canada to eight georgia months. tbilisi georgia where we spent approximately three months while waiting for visas to get here to russia we've now been in russia eight months i came here with my wife anisa and eight of our lovely children and we have begun our new life here we sold everything wow. we owned in canada we had a farm there we had tractors we had equipment we had tools we had toys we had blankets we had stuffies we had wow, dishes yeah, you name it and we sold come, everything we crammed in. what we had left into 28 suitcases Why? and moved our family halfway across the world why would we do such a thing because we no longer saw a clear path in canada unfortunately do we love canada yes it is our home we are canadians but unfortunately the country is not the way it used to be as many of you are well aware oh. and it has changed drastically and therefore yeah. we sought new opportunities for our family in searching high and low we came to the conclusion that russia was the only in my opinion but i could say one of the only places in the world that is still safe for traditional christian families we are a large family obviously we hold to traditional christian values and those are no longer appreciated in the majority of the west we could still live there for now but it is becoming increasingly apparent that in the next few years it will become harder and harder and harder for families like ours to carry on practicing you. the way that we do and therefore we decided to uh, go now before it became too late why russia russia holds the traditional values russia yeah. is making steps continually in the right direction and the leadership here is continually yeah. making decisions in the right direction yeah. to hold on to traditional awesome. christian conservative values they are also very uh, fiscally conservative, paying off many of their debts instead of continuously borrowing more and more money as we see in the West. Also, property prices here in Russia are very affordable, whether you want to live in the city or out in the country. Land and housing prices are in a very affordable range, which they no longer are in Canada. I cannot speak for all of the West, but as far as I know, this is a problem faced by everyone with inflated home prices that are out of reach for many average wow. families it becomes harder and harder Some to make a living man. and uh, feed your families middle class families i but think face some of the biggest difficulties now. in the last five ten years in the west and uh, i guess that's where we would qualify in many many reasons to come here uh, economic reasons is definitely 
high on the list. We no longer saw a future for our children over there. We no longer saw a clear path for them to be able to farm or have the opportunities that we have had growing up. And therefore we decided to make some changes and make some drastic steps. And that brings us here. My name is Aaron Feenstra. You are watching Countryside Eggers. Voila. Oh my God, man. Thank you for the information. Oh yeah, I love this. I love Russia. Aww, isn't that beautiful? Those are beautiful flowers. Aren't they nice? I'd say that boy knows how to charm a lady. Aww, and they even smell so wonderful. Thank you. Oh, a huge boy, yeah. huge, 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 huge. The leaf yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You built it? Yeah. Oh, so you're a sweetheart oh, too, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Big. These boys. I can tell you. Yeah. Wow, Rob, you got a mini. Oh yeah, every girl wants cucumbers. <laughs> I do. That's what I'd get her on Valentine's Day. Wow. Oh yeah, look at the size of that thing. Oh, this. Nice <laughs> hey, I love you this much. You're a Russian now, eh? Coffee and zucchini. Yeah. 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 We got a Polish guy. Congratulations for being zucchini. Russian. It's like you won a prize, man. man. Beautiful. The Belarus 82.1 has many cool features that I really like. I like his accent. The main one being the price point. The price on a Belarus of this size compared to a Case International, which is my preference of the same size, you can buy four of these for the same price as a Case International tractor. Now that is unbelievable. Now, you might say, okay, not four, okay, fine, say three. Basically, that means I can take two more tractors identical to this and park them over there in the shade and then just drive one for the same price. And if this one wow. breaks, I don't have to wait for parts. I can hop onto one of those other ones, brand spanking new sitting over there. Now think of that, three to one ratio for sure. And I think it's a four to one, but I'd have to work those numbers out. Inside the cab, very roomy, very comfortable. Yeah, have life here, man. Back you up. There's a load of room here for kids' feet. I love it when my kids drive around with me and they love to come with. And it's a great way to spend time with your kids in training. I would like to install a seat belt and there is in fact a piece you can buy for this but it was big and bulky and it filled this space up with a toolbox which I didn't like. So I'm going to build something different eventually. But there wow. are options available on the market that you can buy or you can do what I'm going to do is build my own. The reason it's so roomy is because the seat is actually offset which brings you closer to the controls and gives you more room on this side. Steering wheel is also offset, so there's really no issue in that regard. Very comfortable. We had the windows tinted. I like it. Good, good air conditioning. It's good. It's what good, I don't man. like, and that's personal preference, is forward and reverse is on this handle and the joystick's over here. So when you're running the loader, it is really nice and you have a loader tractor to have forward and reverse here. Okay, so you're going to have less bells and whistles here. That would be my only complaint. Other than that, I like everything. It's not really a complaint, it's just a convenience factor because this hand you're doing loader work and then you need to switch to this and then to this and then to this. And normally speaking, I would do in my loader here and I can just do forward and reverse here. Other than that, I love it. Lots of leg room, everything is great. Everything is right where it needs to be. And it's been working very well for us. I love it too, man. The whole sake, this different, but not, same always uh, i might not look like i'm smiling right now that's because i squint from the sun but i am very pleased to be here and we feel very fortunate and very blessed to be allowed to live in this beautiful oblast be supported by this wonderful government and have a future that is secure we used to worry often on a daily basis we were thinking hey, what is the future going to hold for our children for our grandchildren what will happen will they be able to farm will they be able to afford a home Will any of this be possible for them? And now we no longer worry about that. The sky is the limit here. The opportunities are endless. Yes, you still need to work hard. No one is offering you anything for free. It is a country full yeah. of opportunities and full of... Uh, I think opportunities really sums it up, but it's got a good direction. It's headed in the right direction. Your media will not tell you that. That's because they don't agree with the agenda that is here.
And that is because they are also anti-Christian and anti-traditional values. You need to really honestly think about that. That is why they're parroting all the same media all the time and telling you bad things about Russia. But I can yeah, tell you, it is that. a lovely place. It's not scary. It's wonderful. I'm and many families like ours have already made the move I and are enjoying the here news. now, free from those societal hey, pressures hey, and influences. If you talking know I mean. blah blah yes, blah, yes, blah yes, you know? we're still developing and working it this is our field we have been building a house over the past three for, months but russia more beautiful we're just about ready for paint in the upstairs yeah obviously i am painting the yet. houses and too uh, that we forget that belarus 82.1 painting houses and that's a loader that we have this may work that here. loader was actually a gift when, to us before i get sick people at zelska mash we painted the houses and very kind and generous gift from them on do our my tractor. best everything this tractor we purchased through the tractorist right here in Nizhny Novgorod from our good friend Andre and the amazing team that he has there we are extremely appreciative for all the work that he has done and they have done for us and continue to do in helping us to integrate and settle down here and you will find that across the board there are so many wonderful kind-hearted people here that are eager to help it, it actually it it's it's unfathomable how much kindness that we have received from everyone from many of you viewers as well and uh, our hearts go out to all of you in appreciation for everything that you have done in today's video i'm going to be doing a little bit of leveling of stone for our laneway uh we received the last few loads i think it is anyway uh should be enough to complete the base of our laneway we will then be putting uh, a finer gravel over top to make it a little less bumpy and that will suffice for a laneway for now in the future we may have to do more work as it is not uh, the most professional job I've ever done but we were in a hurry we needed to get it done and that's the way it worked out if you're curious about any other developments here or any other work that we've done please tour our channel and you'll see all the videos are there for you yeah pleasure. man respect I see man I see I, I, I just cry beer and I will go into your channel and see what you what the video you have. Oh man, this makes me be jealous, man. You working like this. Man, that's all I need, I swear. That's all I need. If it's in Russia, I will give me treatment. It's a treatment. And make me be having me to come over there be okay I swear to God I swear to Allah I will never stop like loving and take a call and, and they will stay there on Russia if they accept me I will never back I swear to you I will never back if they accept me in, like, illegally, like, uh, not just living there without paper. You need, like, paper to live with this legally. And this man, he do it. He live his dream now. He live his dream. Yeah, man. 
Uh, I say a lot and I get a lot of things and this man coming from Canada to Russia have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to say and there more, more, more what he will say and that's amazing and I love this man keep doing what they are doing in Russia it is an amazing country and uh, yeah don't forget smash the button subscribe to notification for me the instagram and youtube that's all and peace love assalamualaikum everyone thank you so much for watching salam salam peace salam